would be concerned, we invest in very liquid blue chip instruments, and that's where we invest in. Keep in mind, we are also uh, uh, under an IMF facility, so there are conditionalities that we have. So we would be restricted in terms of our own flexibility in terms of moving our reserves uh, in exotic uh, products or instruments uh, that we wouldn't do otherwise in any case. Uh, but our reserves at the moment uh, uh, are about 15.6 billion. And, uh, and uh, we have about, about 2.9 billion of IMF payments that we have to make for this fiscal year. We have no problems in making those payments. To generate uh, some additional reserves, we have some irons in the fire. I mean, I personally have some irons in the fire that will perhaps generate some additional inflows during the course of the year, perhaps in the second half. And that is directly tied and indirectly also to the currency swap agreements that we've executed with China and Turkey and the others that are in the pipeline as well. China's benchmarked at 1.5 billion, Turkey at 1 billion as they operationalize, which is going to be Turkey, going to be, it's going to be next month, China by the end of this month, end of the year that is tantamount to saving some foreign exchange reserves. So these are kind of alternative mechanisms that we're developing to try and preserve and build on our reserves, uh, these kinds of swap agreements. But as far as investing in any other instruments uh, that will give us a better yield, you know, we're getting up the risk curve, and that we're going you know, to be careful. Uh, okay, the organizers tell me that we have two and a half minutes, so I can afford one half a question. <laughs> 